In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create eight options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I've added a oval shape here with the icon and you can add your headline here. Uh, I've added the shadow effect also. When I click, it will show the first option with this color combination and then shows the second, third and fourth. And then right side, it will show the fifth six seven and eight so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the decrease these options and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this however with the older version also you can do this so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the slide color to any uh, light gray color then go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes select the oval shape just click it here shape outline no outline and shape fill you can give any light color maybe white or maybe uh, let it be white and then I'm going to make the height and width as 4 and then align center align middle and then I'm going to add uh, two rectangles uh, at the this corner, the top right corner. So go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle, maybe this much size, shape outline, no outline, and then press Ctrl D to duplicate this one. And I'm going to add one more at the top. All right, and then you can move it a little bit up here. Okay and increase the size a little bit and this also i'm going to increase it little bit here all right it doesn't matter if the size is somewhat uh, uh, different no problems with that one so let me just give some different colors to it this one i'm going to give maybe this one and then i'm going to copy it bottom the below select both the colors hold the control shift key together and add it at the bottom here like this then i'm going to select all these four hold the control shift key again add towards the left side here something like this all right and then select all this send this to back so it looks something like this all right so let me just remove this uh, guides and now i'm going to increase or decrease the width of this one you can see here the length actually so you can see here i can make it somewhat different this one i want to make it somewhat big this is somewhat small like this all right and then i'm going to change the color according to my requirement maybe i'm going to give this color here and here i'm going to give maybe this color and this side i will give maybe dark color any color which you feel comfortable with you can just change the color you can see here maybe I'll give purple color all right and here I can give somewhat maybe this green color so once this is done what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the numbers here so let me just arrange it once again it looks more of a similar one All right so go to insert text box I'm going to type one here so any uh, good font you know you can just choose for this one for example I'm going to choose this uh, Fio Fio Sans black you can see here make it the color as white make it bold is already bold so double uh, just increase the size this one make sure it fits here a little bit more maybe it is too much so maybe i'm going to make it say 100 all right and then i'm going to put it here this is one and give some shadow effect for that right mouse click go to format shape under text options you can see here i can go to the shadow and i can give any shadow effect here like this and if you want you can increase the distance a little bit press ctrl d to duplicate this one and i'm just going to attach uh, the put this option one by one here 
and then i'm going to select all this hold the control shift key together add it towards the right side and again align it properly and later on we need to change the sequence all right so i'm going to make this as two this is three four this is five six seven and the last one is eight so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease these numbers so again then spend some time to do this uh, alignment properly you can see here some alignment required all right and then you can add shadow effect for this also let me just duplicate this one and give the color as black you can see here increase the transparency and go to the effects go to the soft edges increase the soft edges here and then put it here you can increase the size a little bit and send this to back all right you can see here so i have given the shadow effect now the last part is to add the text go to insert text box i'm going to say add detail text here white font reduce the size Control d to duplicate so one by one you need to just copy the text Control d this side i'm going to make it right align so you can see here I'm just duplicating and make sure to do the proper alignment all right now once this is done you can add your headline here I'll just say your headline here center align you can make it maybe somewhat uh, gray color font or any color and increase the size a little bit and make sure you put it in the center and if you want you can make it bold also so you can see here we have completed the design and if you want to do some small animation effect you can go to the animations enable the animation pane and i'm going to first group this one okay these things i'm grouping you can see here like this you need to group it one by one or without group also it can be done not a problem you can see here then I'm just selecting this one and send it to back and here also I'm going to group it you can see here and again send this to back all right this also I need to send this to back and then you can select this one animations i'm going to add animation maybe a wipe effect wipe effect i'm going to make it from right so it comes like this and then this also should come for this you can use any any animation of your choice so let me just go to add animation more entrance effects so you've got wide variety whichever you want for example i want peek in it's not looking good maybe dissolve in click ok and this should happen after previous so if i play it comes like this so now using the animation painter i'm just going to do the animation like this you can see here simple